Hello everyone and welcome to the first Surviving the Aftermath stream. I am Davide, I am the community developer for Surviving the Aftermath. Today with me I have Jimmy. I'm working as a live content producer. But on top of that we also have a guest with us. Yes, we have a guest uh, live from Tampere. We have Matti from Icefleck Studios. Hi Matti. Hi, hello. I'm Matti from, from Tampere. As they said, uh, I'm the game designer for Aftermath. The update is, as the name suggests, about the colony, mostly. We have a few uh, major major features coming. One of them is uh, directly uh, like addressing uh, one of the, the biggest uh, issues we've had, which is running out of uh, resources. So we have extractors for that. They are infinitely producing basic resources, allowing you to expand uh, the colony. This is the metal one. Metal extractor creates metal and scraps infinitely. And okay. then we have this little fella here, this digger, which is for the plastic, creating plastic for, for construction and fiber for clothing. Last is the concrete one. It extracts concrete. I also know that you guys introduced uh, more tech options. Uh, we have now the battery stacking, which unlocks the large battery rack for, for your colony. It stores a huge amount of uh, energy for when your lights go out or, or like uh, power plants stop working. Then we have a few more in the security tree, mm -hmm. uh, which is the reinforced gate. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, which unlocks immediately the second level of the gate. It, with it, you can now see uh, if survivor groups have conditions on them. You can see if they are infected or if they have injuries, and that might affect uh, your decision to let them in or not. And then one final thing uh, is the centralized repairs. Uh, this unlocks the maintenance depot, which is our solution for the, the bigger bigger colonies and, and their uh, maintenance needs. So here you have the depot itself. It's this uh, little uh, shack here. Oh, you, can, you can yeah. staff it uh, with uh, maximum three people and then move the work area where you want it to uh, operate. Now you've had all these resources here and uh, there's no, no controlling what goes where. So you have that for, for stockpile storages and, and for the... So potentially I could create like a whole industrial area where yes. only industrial stuff gets stored and then instead having like the living area where all the food and the general population needs are stored, right? Yeah. Meteors will now injure everything around their impact area. So it's, it's both buildings, it's, uh, it's colonies, uh, colonists as well. The damage isn't huge, but uh, it should be interesting, more interesting than, than the previous system of, of striking just one, one building. But on the other hand, you also have the repair squad ready to yes. help you in case like, like, yeah. a med, like something hits and it damages a lot of vital structure, right? So yeah. World map is getting uh, a revamp. Now you'll get a preview of uh, of the damage that you will inflict on the bandit and what they are going to do to you in, in retaliation. Thanks to all the players that are taking part in the early access for surviving the aftermath. Again, we are really really overwhelmed by how many of you are participating and grateful for all your feedback we are currently planning to have one content drop every month or so from uh, stockholm and from finland i guess we're signing out yes bye everyone bye <laughs>